Good morning, guys. We're going to do a get ready with me today. Um, me and Michelle have a couple of videos we need to film, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm, um, I, this is what I use is the BB cream, and I've already moist put on my skincare, put on um, primer on my face anyway. And then um, you know, I'm going to do my eyes first because I don't want to have to, I want to be able to wear these shadow guards and um, not make too much of a mess of my eyes. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're all well. I'm I'm getting there. Getting there. Well, actually. I'll, ne I'll actually never be like well. It's not possible really when you have stage five kidney disease so but I'm gonna be as well as I can how about that <laughs> I've pretty much been in bed for three weeks so I've been out twice um, to doctor's appointments but other than that I have been home, home, home. I'm trying to find a brush to put this on with because I really don't feel like digging my fingers in there today. I'm using this um, eyeshadow primer from Amuse and Clean Slate. It'll focus on it. Anyway. That's what I'm putting for primer today. I have some more eye primers from Shop Miss A. Um, and they work really well too, but I'm trying to use up some of the other stuff I have in my stash here. It's so much easier to put on with a brush than it is my finger. Um, so. Just putting a little bit of a putty primer on my, around my nose and my mouth. Hope you guys all had a good weekend. What did you do? Would you do anything fun?
Hope you got to do something fun, or at least relax for the weekend. With those of you who work during the week. Um, I'm going to be using this palette today. has um like blushes in it and eyeshadows so that's what i'm going to use today oh, i had a lot of kick up I've swatched this palette, but I don't think I've actually used it. Oh, it's blending beautifully, though. Not on wood. Hopefully, it does the same thing to this eye. Big mint head, woo. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
in the in the events out there. Are you husbands or boyfriends? You want to get that lady's attention or your lady's attention? Mm, yes. 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 Wait, you do need to have that thought that for men? That can be a lot. Mm, I'm going to be watching that. I can always get that. So let's continue on and see if the other two are in better Mystery bag. Okay. Space one. Powerful aromas and aroma. Okay. Dark oil or powerful aromas and woody tincture may hold the fragrance of geranium and lavender, contrasted by dark cedar wood and sensual incense. The fragrance captures the essence of the wider belt and modern Italian cedar and acts an apt piece of perfume. So geranium, lavender, and cedar wood incense. Oh, so that's just the inside of the Oh my gosh, this one is feeling super safe right now, okay? I don't know about this next the third one, but this one right here, you save everybody. Oh, that's going to be a good one right there. Men, come on my gentle bird, that's for you right there. Well, this is my husband, but... <laughs> Okay, up next we've got the Polo Ralph Lauren. Cologne Intense Cypress Citrus. So, just to give us something to talk about, I guess, uh, I went to um, have that sleep study for those of you that knew that I was having a sleep study, but that was back at the beginning of June, and they said that um, I no longer had sleep apnea, but because I needed the settings changed on my machine. And they said I no longer had sleep apnea, but that I, my oxygen levels were really low all night when I was having the sleep study. And, um, it, my oxygen levels were like at something like 84% most of the night. So they said I didn't qualify for a CPAP machine. But I would qualify for a BiPAP machine, possibly, because my oxygen levels were so low all night. And so, I, um, 
had to take another test where they at home where they put this um, monitor on your finger and monitor your oxygen levels all night and i i expected it to come back normal and i don't know why i expected that but um she um my doctor told me that not only were my or that they had got um, surprised by the results because it wasn't what they were expecting. Um, but I guess for a good portion of the night, my oxygen levels were at 74%, not 84%. So she said that um, in order to qualify for the machine that helps you breathe, which I obviously need. Um, they have to run two more tests, so I, I have to go do a pulmonology test and something else. A stress test, maybe? I'm not sure exactly. I forget what it was. That the other There's two tests. Oh, a, a blood work, my blood gases, because that'll, that tells you how low my oxygen levels can get at night because there's not enough oxygen in your in your um, blood if you're not breathing in deep enough which I'm not doing say it said that you know they're not going to put a name on it until they get all the test results back and all that kind of stuff so and that's what that one's about. <laughs> I um have supposed to have my mammogram on Friday, but did that happen? No, because I had to schedule a ride through Medicaid because my son was working and he couldn't take me. And so um I scheduled the ride through Medicaid on Monday, which you have to give them 24 hours. But my appointment was on Friday, so I figured, well, they have plenty of time to find me a ride, you know. And they asked if there was anything, anyone that I didn't want to ride with. I was like, yes, Yellow Cab. <laughs> They're the worst drivers ever. Like, I don't know who's hiring down there at Yellow Cab, but you guys... Get it together or something. I truly need to get it together down there. Um, I don't know how many of you guys know. Some of you do, some of you don't, depending on how long you've been on my channel for, but. I um have stage five kidney disease. Stage five kidney disease, and um, a lot of days are hard for me, very hard. Unfortunately, a lot of days are hard for me. Hold one second. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I put on my lashes. Put on some mascara. A little bit of highlighter. Which the highlighter was, um... AOA Perfect Pressed Highlighter in the shade Tiara. And the mascara I used is Siren.
I love you guys and we will see you in the next one if you guys have any questions for me let me know down below let me know how your weekend went love to hear from you bye